You'd think by now diesel myths would be dead and buried. But every single day I see diesel owners making expensive mistakes based on advice that was outdated 20 years ago or was never true in the first place. The crazy part is how confidently this bad advice gets passed around. But the truth is, modern diesel engines are nothing like the tough old mechanical diesels people grew up with. Today I'm exposing the most dangerous diesel myths that are still destroying engines and draining wallets. And trust me, some of these sound so believable that even long-time diesel owners still fall for them. Stick around, because myth number five is still causing catastrophic failures in modern engines, and most people have no idea. Let's get started. Myth number one, diesels need to idle for 10 to 15 minutes to warm up before driving. This might have been reasonable advice 20 years ago, but today it does more harm than good. When your diesel idles, it warms up incredibly slowly because the engine isn't under any meaningful load. The combustion temperatures stay low, the oil stays thick and cold, the fuel doesn't fully burn, and the engine starts building carbon in places you absolutely don't want it. Like the intake manifold, the EGR valve, and especially the DPF. If you've ever wondered why some cars constantly region or clog their DPFs, long idling is often the hidden culprit. There's also the issue of wet stacking. That's when diesel engines run too cold and unburned fuel ends up coating internal components. Modern engines are precision designed to reach operating temperature quickly by driving, not sitting still. The ideal routine is to start it. Let it run for 30 seconds to a minute and then drive gently. Now, of course, real life sometimes means ice on the windshield, frozen wipers, or a cabin so cold you can see your own breath. In extreme cold, letting it idle for two to three minutes longer just to clear ice or allow oil circulation is completely reasonable. But beyond that, extra idling isn't protection, it's damage disguised as caution. The idea that a diesel needs a long warm-up is simply outdated. In extreme cold, the rules shift a bit. Below freezing, a block heater or an extra minute or two of idle just helps oil circulate and clears ice. But even then, light driving still warms a diesel faster and safer than sitting still. Myth number two. You can use regular engine oil in a diesel as long as the viscosity matches. This one blows my mind because it's such a dangerous oversimplification. Just because two oils have the same viscosity number doesn't mean they behave the same inside a diesel. Diesel combustion produces far more soot and far more acidic byproducts, and the oil has to neutralize those contaminants to protect the engine. Diesel rated oils have stronger detergent packages to suspend soot, more anti-wear additives to protect high-pressure components, and far better oxidation resistance because diesels run hotter under load. Gasoline oil just isn't built for that environment. Putting a gasoline-rated oil into a diesel might not blow the engine immediately, but you're stacking microscopic wear each and every mile. Bearings take a hit, turbochargers suffer, sludge starts forming, and if you have a DPF or EGR system, the chemical makeup of the wrong oil can actually damage those expensive components over time. Diesel owners should always look for proper diesel oil specs, like API CK4 or FA4. Matching the numbers on the bottle means nothing if the formulation inside isn't meant for your engine. Myth number three, premium diesel fuel is a waste of money. This one is sneaky because the benefits of better fuel aren't always obvious right away. Premium diesel uses stronger additive packages, better lubricity to protect injectors, better detergents to prevent deposit buildup, higher cetane for cleaner, faster ignition, and often better cold weather stability. All of these things matter inside a modern common rail system that operates at insanely high pressures. Injectors today have tolerances measured in microns. A tiny bit of extra lubrication or a cleaner spray pattern can make a massive difference in long-term reliability. Think about the cost difference. Premium diesel might add a dollar or two per tank. Meanwhile, one failed injector can cost hundreds, and a high-pressure pump failure can easily jump into the thousands. People compare fuel prices, but forget that fuel quality affects every single combustion event inside the engine. The cheapest diesel may seem fine today, but the long-term cost often shows up years later in the form of expensive repairs. And once carbon and varnish start forming on injector tips, no amount of wishful thinking will undo the damage. Good fuel pays for itself many times over. Myth number four. Diesel engines don't need regular oil changes like gas engines. This one couldn't be more backward. Diesels create more soot, more blow-by, and more contamination in the oil, especially with modern EGR systems feeding exhaust back into the intake. 
Even though synthetic oils can technically survive longer intervals, surviving doesn't mean optimal protection. Just because oil isn't completely broken doesn't mean it's still protecting your engine the way it should. A strong, proven oil change interval for many diesel engines is around 5,000 to 6,500 miles. That range keeps contaminants under control and maintains proper lubrication for the turbocharger, the bearings, and the valve train. If you tow, idle a lot, or take short trips where the engine never fully warms up, the intervals should be even shorter. Mechanics who've torn down clean, long-lasting diesels will tell you the same thing. Engines maintained with common-sense oil intervals simply last longer. Stretching oil changes to save a little money almost always costs more in the long run. Myth number five, adding gasoline to diesel in winter prevents gelling. This is one of the most dangerous diesel myths of all time. Gasoline has almost no lubricity, and modern diesel fuel systems rely on the fuel itself for lubrication. Common rail injectors and high-pressure pumps operate at extreme pressures and need that lubricating property to avoid metal-on-metal -metal wear. When you add gasoline to diesel, you strip away that protection. You're also altering the combustion characteristics of the fuel, which can cause misfires, knocking, and long-term damage that people don't realize until parts start failing. There are proper anti-gel additives for winter, and winter-grade diesel exists specifically to handle cold temperatures safely. These products actually work without damaging your fuel system. People who say they've added gasoline for years without issues just haven't seen the microscopic damage accumulating until something finally fails. That advice belongs to ancient, purely mechanical diesels, not the high-pressure, high-precision systems we have today. And here's the big picture. Almost every harmful diesel myth comes from the era of old-school mechanical engines that could run on fuel that looked like swamp water. Those engines were simple, low-pressure, and incredibly forgiving. Modern diesels with common rail injection, DBFs, EGR systems, turbos, and tight tolerances are a completely different world. They require modern knowledge and modern practices to stay reliable. So remember this. Modern diesels warm up under light driving load, not long idle. Diesel engines need real diesel-rated oil, not just matching viscosity. Premium fuel is more than a marketing gimmick. It protects expensive components. Most diesels run best with 5,000 to 6,500 mile oil changes. And never, under any circumstances, mix gasoline with diesel fuel. A final note, diesel engines are incredibly capable machines. But they reward the owners who understand how they're meant to be used today, not 20 years ago. And while there are exceptions depending on climate, manufacturer specs, and specific engine designs, the core principles stay the same. Modern diesels aren't fragile, they're precise. Treat them with the right information instead of old myths, and they'll last hundreds of thousands of miles with fewer surprises and a lot fewer repair bills. At the end of the day, owning a diesel isn't just about power, it's about knowing what keeps that power alive. Stay informed, stay ahead of the myths, and your engine will thank you every mile.